I'm Rick Howard, President of Kingdom Magic Vacations. In my job, I get to travel a lot. I explore the world on land and sea, eating in unique restaurants, and discovering interesting locations. I'm always looking for new places to visit, and I want you to travel with me. Welcome to Travel with Rick. Hey everyone, welcome to day 10, our first sea day uh, on our way back from Hawaii to LA. We've got today and four more sea days, then we'll hit Ensenada, Mexico, and be back home. But today was just a, a great day to chill and relax from our uh, awesome excursion yesterday, just roaming around the ship, uh, catching some entertainment here and there, uh, seeing the characters around the ship. Uh, but it's just a fantastic time just to relax and uh, take a little time to sleep and catch a little sun. And you can kind of start to feel the, the boat rocking a little bit back in the Pacific uh, with a little bit of Pacific weather heading our way. Uh, so we didn't uh, didn't do too much today. Just kinda, we were busy uh, in Hawaii. We were. We were right. really busy when we were in Hawaii. So as Andrew said, it was just nice to relax, mm -hmm. you know, and not really Definitely. have anywhere we had to be, not have to look at our excursion tickets and know what time and where we were meeting, and just mm -hmm. be able to, you know, just take in a leisurely breakfast, a uh, leisurely lunch, and get ready for something we've been something I've been looking forward to all cruise long. Mm -hmm. Not John Charles. <laughs> no, dinner at Palo. Dinner at Palo. That's right. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, just just an awesome, one of my favorite restaurants anywhere. That's right. Right? That's right. Oh, that chocolate souffle, I had a dream about it. <laughs> you know, it was, it's absolutely incredible. I know it's going to taste way better than it did in my dream. Yeah. You know, but uh, it's, it's incredible. But you're right, we did see John Charles. John Charles is uh, an amazing talent uh, that uh, his comedy and his guitar playing ability is incredible he makes up a lot of funny songs about cruising and your stateroom host and eating all the food that you want on the ship uh, so it's, yeah. it, it's really really cool uh, you have to check out the video you know. this, where you're walking by other empty room, oh, other rooms and the doors are open you go <laughs> right that's all this time you scrap it like Because <laughs> they wrote a song about that. It's like What a mess, what a mess. This will put me to the test. When you born and you unloaded, like your luggage just exploded. T-shirts here, stockings there. What's that? I see it's underwear. Up it all up with a smile, folded neatly in a pile. Make the bed, clean the bath. With a giggle and a laugh, while you're off exploring some exotic port. When you come back to the sea, it's tidy as can be. Then you'll express with a howl, they've made a monkey from a towel. Beautiful ships. Yeah. Yeah, really, you know, I, I, my, my wife hates when I tell the audience this, but I started with Disney in the very beginning. In the very, very beginning, I s sang in the 1200 voice choir that was in front of the Magic Kingdom for the grand opening of Walt Disney World in October of 1971. Oh. I was in that choir. I was two. <laughs> but it's um but it's been an amazing ride for me to get to see all the things that Disney has done throughout the years. I've been there for all of it. I've written many, many songs for Disney, so it's really been an honor to be around here all this time. But I have to tell you that when they announced that they were gonna build cruise ships, I thought that was about the stupidest idea they ever had. <laughs> because back then, really, all you thought about was partiers, right? You know, you know partiers or, or retire folks. You didn't think about families on a cruise ship. I mean, that conjured up visions of kids going overboard like jiffy pop. <laughs> <laughs> But they got the rails up high enough and it doesn't seem to be a problem. <laughs> How many people build on the new ships? The dream and the fantasy makes them all. 
they're huge. Those ships are huge. Man, I, I got on board and, and I was I was aft. I was over the rudder. <laughs> I was aft. And if you want to go to the fitness center, it's forward. <laughs> All the way forward. <laughs> so if you were in my position, what you do to go to the fitness center is you just put on your, your workout clothes and you walk to the fitness center. And you do kind of a nice pace. When you get there, you have a glass of lemon water, walk back, lay down, you're done. <laughs> I mean, this ship needs to have roadside rests. You know, have to go down. The only cool thing they have, some of y'all know about this, is that little slot, right, when you come inside the door and you put your key in there and it turns your room off. And then when you leave, you pull it out and it turns your room off. They need to have those little slots in the children. He's like, <laughs> He's taking that. We're going to go have a drink. <laughs> so it's been a great ride. I, t I, I got to spend nine days on Oahu before we we, uh, we boarded the heel. I, I, I married a Polynesian. I married a Hawaiian girl. And, and I love her because you have to. <laughs> because if you don't love your Polynesian wife, they'll kill you. <laughs> They won't. They're family. But it's okay. They're really fair about it. Because you know when you're in trouble, because you, you can hear the drums. You know? <laughs> you know the drums yeah, he pokes fun at um, all the areas, all the different crew members, you know, all the different sections of crew, and the guests, you know, um, and he is funny. Voted number one entertainer in Orlando. Mm -hmm. uh, started out at the Polynesian. Uh, years and years ago entertaining there. His wife is Hawaiian. That's right. She's yep. on the ship with him. So she did a couple of hula numbers with him and uh, he's just awesome and he can do almost anything. So he likes to go into the crowd and ask the crowd what their favorite singer is. <laughs> that's right, that's yeah. right. And he'll let you know if you can't do it. Just say nope. nope yeah, that's not doing right. that one. Or if he's planning on doing it later and he just doesn't want to do it in that part of his show, you know. Uh, which could happen and uh, we'll be bringing you more from him because he's going to do a late night show later on in the week and uh, we're definitely looking forward to that as well but did we mention our dinner at Paula? Oh gosh. that's right it was amazing. It was amazing um, had our favorite server actually mine and Leslie's favorite server from Alaska Judy and been our server on several cruises but the last time we had her was when we were doing uh, the Alaska cruise last May and mm -hmm. she's just fantastic from Barbados and uh, loves to tell stories about her growing up with her grandmother and her cooking and, and uh, just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Incredible dinner. Um, the garlic shrimp pesto there with pesto sauce is just outstanding. And dude, that souffle. Oh, yeah. the chocolate souffle That's right. with the chocolate and vanilla sauce and ice cream is just off the hook good, right? It's incredible. Yeah, it is. It's incredible. It's a, you know, I think it's a $20 nominal fee. Um, that you pay to, to go there, but it is so worth it. Yeah, so worth it. So you know. worth it. Yeah, yeah. So, and if you're platinum, it's one of the things that they just compliment you with. Um, if you're a platinum Disney Cruise Castaway Club member, so that's a part mm -hmm. for the Castaway Club um, to be if you're a platinum member. Um, but uh, just the service, the quality of the food, uh, the view. Mm -hmm. I mean, deck that's ten right. at. You know, you just get a great view from up there, and That's it's right. absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was a, a perfect end to a very relaxing day. That's right. All right, so uh, we're still at sea tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, we still want you to come back with us. Uh, hopefully, you're not getting too bored of our Hawaii cruise yet, and you'll return. We hope you guys do. Tomorrow is day 11, and we hope to see you guys right back here, right? Absolutely. All right, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow guys. So long.